is up guys today we are at the platform 1346 it is a converted world war ii train located in tennessee this is an airbnb and it caught my eye a while ago and i've had it saved on my airbnb for a while for the next time i was in tennessee and i'm finally at it and i'm super excited to be here and show you guys what it is like because i was super curious i've seen the photos they looked great i was like man i'm really into container homes and this is basically the same shape but it's a little bit better because it's a world war ii train and i was like this has to be cool so i had to come and check it out and and it is really cool. I will leave a link to the Airbnb listing down below in the description as well as the owner's websites. Uh, they have two other Airbnb properties on this property. One is an aircraft hangar, which is pretty cool. So you guys can check that out. And also in the description is a link to sign up on Airbnb. And if you use that link, you will get some Airbnb credit. It can be up to $40 on your first day. So sign up using my link down below. If you want to save some money and travel the world and see a really cool Airbnb if you're new to this channel hit the subscribe button I know like 90% of you guys watching this aren't subscribed so please do that would be highly appreciated and every week I post videos and they're really cool and if you enjoy this one I'm sure you will enjoy my other videos as well so without further ado let's get on with this Airbnb it is a World War II train car. Now, I met with the owners and I was curious how they even got this train here. They said that it was bought at a military surplus auction in Florida and they had to rail this cart all the way from Florida to here. And then they got a huge crane and they loaded it right here. He said this cart weighs around 50 tons, which is absolutely insane to think about. I can't even imagine the process it took to get this cart here in this location, but I am glad it is here. This home is full of charm. Every little detail has been looked at and has been fitted with the vibe of this home. Everywhere you look, there's something interesting to look at. So when you first pull up in this property, it is pretty secluded far back from the road which is really nice and you're greeted to the sign out front it says platform 1346 i believe and that greets you to the home and then you pull in and the driveway parking area is interlaced with the railroad ties right here which adds a cool texture to the driveway and it's not just that plain gravel i like that touch a lot because it definitely fits in with the train right here. So you pull up and you can see there's seating outside if you want to enjoy your time outside. And something cool about this property is the owners have bamboo patches all around. So there's an interesting tropical vibe around, which I love, tropical is my favorite. So seeing the bamboo everywhere and it kind of separates you from the surrounding neighbors, it's really cool, especially in the summer. But like I said, there's seating out front, there's a grill if you wanna grill some things. And out on the other side of the property, there's a little pond if you wanna feed some goldfish. There's also a swinging bed right here. And there's also a horseshoe pit right over here as well. Another cool thing about this property is there's a small landing strip for personal planes on the other side. So during the summer on a nice day, you might be able to watch some planes fly in and fly out. It's not commercial, so it's not loud or obnoxious. It's something fun to enjoy and watch. This Airbnb welcomes you with beautiful dogs. They run up to you whenever you walk up and they are the friendliest, cutest dogs in the world. So if you're a dog person, definitely take advantage of that. But if you're not a dog person, I'm sure you can let them know and you won't be bothered by the dogs at all. Anyway, continue to train. The outside is full of character. It's military green. It just looks like something out of a movie. It is sitting on a pair of tracks, so it just looks like it's being in use. And everywhere you look, from the front to the back, it just looks super cool. It has the doors on the front and back. It's just like if it was connected, you could walk in between the carts. And there's a couple windows throughout that look really nice. And having the rust mix in with the green, it just looks super cool. If you're a train lover, this is definitely the best train on Airbnb, in my opinion, to go to. If you walk up the front deck right here, there is a patio area. You can hang out and chill out with everybody you bring to the spot or your significant other. You can come out here, eat lunch or dinner, and enjoy the surrounding peaceful nature and the color of it just 
just blends in with the home, so it's really nice. And on the back side is another little deck area that we will get to later, but let's just continue on and walk on the inside of this home. So you walk in this front door and you're kind of greeted to the middle of this train. And like I said in the beginning, it is very similar to a container home layout. It's just kind of that one elongated box. But if you know what you're doing, you can make this work really nicely. And I believe these owners did. So let's start with the far right side of this train. You got your entire kitchen. It takes about one third of this train. And the aesthetics of this fit so perfectly with this train. I am very impressed with how they did it. They left the exposed roof and they left as much of the flooring, original flooring as they could. And it just looks really, really beautiful. All the kitchen amenities are really modern and really high quality. You got a really nice sink and a full stove with the stove top right here. And over the sink, you have a nice window that looks out into the back and lets in a lot of natural light. Under that, you got really nice cabinets and that are full of the kitchen utensils and amenities that you would need. And if we just Continue on, you got your full coffee set up and you got a few other things that they added in like spices and hot cocoa and stuff like that. You got cabinets above, if you open them up, they got all your dishes in them and right below you got more cabinets. So you're not gonna miss anything with this kitchen. And a lot of the appliances you see are Smeg, which is a good quality brand and it just looks really nice as well. And now last is the fridge over here on the right side. They provide some stuff in the fridge for you, which is really nice and it just all blends in really nicely with this train. Over here on the right side, you got your bar seating area to eat and it's sitting right in front of these windows, which looks really nice, especially when the sun is setting and the light's just flooding in. You get those light beams in this place, but you can sit here and enjoy your time. It also really fits in with the vibe of this home. And something really cool is above on each side are these lights. Now these lights are kind of located all throughout the home. They are a warm vibe and it just adds to that coziness of this train. And also with the exposed ceiling, it just looks super cool. <laughs> If we just continue on with the rest, you enter the living space. It's a couch with a coffee table. It's just perfect just for those chill out nights when it gets super dark and you come in for from your night of exploring and you just want to chill. Right here is great. They provide Netflix and there's Wi-Fi here. Can't go wrong with that. The bed is also a sleeper sofa, so if there's more than just two of you coming, uh, they can sleep here. You might have seen this World War II train before. It's been publicized everywhere from news to a lot of different magazines. This Airbnb has been mentioned in Airbnb magazine before. If you are subscribed to that, I highly suggest it because it's a really cool magazine to check out everything Airbnb and a lot of cool things that are happening around the world. And this place was mentioned in one of those publishings, which is really cool. Continuing on from there, you got the first front door that we walked into and then you also have your dresser to put all your luggage or clothes in whenever you stay here and above that you got some cool decor with the sweet original window. And right next to that you got your really comfortable bed. It is nice and one cool thing about this is that it is a Murphy bed. So whenever you're done you don't want more space you can just pull this up and hang it up basically and just get it out of the way and make a lot more open space during the day. And whenever you do that, you can also lower this desk area and you can sit here and write or read or whatever you want to do. So they have an additional desk area, which is super cool with this light above it. And it just adds a nice vibe to this area. And now let's continue down the hallway on this back area. On the right, you got your bathroom. You just slide this door open and you got a really nice spacious bathroom and it's really done nicely. You got a claw foot bathtub that is teal blue, which is really cool on the left side and all your amenities that you need in a shower. And then on the right side, you got your sink and toilet and it's just done really nicely in here. They have some pictures hanging up on the wall right here that show the process of getting this train to where it is now. So it's kind of cool to see how they did that. And everything from the lights to the tile on the floor, it's just really nice and high quality in here. And now if we continue on with the back part of this hallway, you see it looks like there used to be maybe a sliding door here when this train was actually operational and they kind of left it. It can't open or anything, but it looks really cool and you got the windows right here and it just adds more to the aesthetic of this home that it is a World War II train car so it's super cool and then on the back part right here you got some hangers to hang up some stuff you got some extra pillows and blankets if you need it in this little box right here is the hot water tank so there's nothing really there but this is a little nice area to put your stuff and it is also where you can use the back door that leads to the back deck patio area so it's just another way to get around and out or in this home and it's super cool to use this train car door it's really heavy and it just makes you feel like you're 
living in the days that this was being used. So it's a really neat experience. Like I said, this place is located in Tennessee. There's lots of things to do in Tennessee if you don't know, if you didn't know. So I would highly suggest coming check this place out. I would suggest it to any World War II fan, any train fan, or someone that just finds this stuff interesting, which is the category I fall in. I think it's super cool. And that I can say that I slept in a World War II train cart. Not a lot of people can say that, especially one that is done up this nicely. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment what your favorite part was. My favorite part is probably the exterior. I think it looks really cool and just hanging around it just makes me feel like I'm in a movie or something. And share this video with somebody that you wanna come and bring to and hang out for the weekend with. Send it to them and be like, hey, let's go to this place and hang out. And they'll reply, hey, okay. And then bam, you got a nice little vacation. <laughs> if you have an Airbnb or a home you live in or some sort of rental, literally anything that you can sleep inside of and you think it deserves to be shown off and it is really cool and you think the world should see it shoot me a message down below email me and send me some photos and maybe we can talk and figure something out and it can be literally anywhere in the world thank you guys for supporting my channel and all my videos i'm really glad you enjoy them and i enjoy really making them so i'll continue to do so you can stay tuned to next week for another video that i'm looking forward to and i hope you guys are as well